Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm just on my way to Tesco to go and pick up some bits before I go and surprise my dad in Filey for his birthday. So they've booked like a, a long weekend away, my mum, my dad and my family dog Barney. And I messaged mum and said, because mum asked if I could, if I wanted to go, and I had a look and it was like three hours away so, and there's meant to be a storm like this weekend. So I'm like, oh, I'll see. I said, don't say anything to dad. And if I decide to come, I'll come and surprise him. And it's beautiful blue skies. There's no rain forecast, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go. It's about, I think, two and a half hours away. I'm gonna take Ace with me. And Dad's got no idea, so luckily he's booked a two bedroom, whatever it is they're staying in. I've got no idea because Dad sorts everything out. So Mum's got no clue either. She managed to get me the postcode from the emails, like, secretly. So, that is the plan for today. I don't know if I'm going to stop one night or two nights because Liam's away at Exeter this weekend anyway with football, so um, I would have been by myself. <laughs> I can't see where that's done. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. I've just got to Travis Centre. It's Tuesday today. I only stayed in Filey for like one night. They stayed at the bay at Filey. Oh my God, it's actually so nice. It's like a posh caravan site. Like they've, it looks like a new build estate. Like there's some massive houses with like balconies overlooking the sea. There's like some lodges around a lake that looked all pretty with like the fairy lights on at night time. But it was really nice. I would recommend if you're needing somewhere to go like in England, you can take dogs as well. Um, my dad literally had no idea if you've seen in that video I put in where he was literally just staring at me. He said, after he said, I recognise the number plate, but I didn't know it was you because obviously he had no idea. So I'm just sat waving at him and he's like, who is this person? Um, but yeah, he enjoyed that. And then I came home. Um, oh, Liam has booked a night away tomorrow. So he said, when I were at Filey, he said, I want to take you away somewhere. Is there anywhere you'd like to go or shall I just book it? So I thought, I want, I've always wanted to go to Liverpool and I've never been to Liverpool before. And it's only like 40 minutes from our house. About half an hour, 40 minutes. Let me just stand you up. Can you see me there? Um, people are staring at me vlogging. Gosh. Um... So yeah, so he's booked us to go to Liverpool tomorrow. I've got no idea what the hotel was saying, no idea what we're doing. He's booked everything. Um, he just told me to order a nice outfit. Um, so I've ordered a nice dress. It's just come literally just before I came here. I waited for it just so if I didn't like it, I could obviously get something from here. But it's so nice. I'm going to show you tomorrow when I put it on, obviously. Um, so yeah, that is the plan. I've just come shopping because Primark's party where what's it called primarks like christmas outfits have just been released today hopefully um so i've come to have a look in primark see what's new have a look i thought hopefully i can film a haul to maybe give you some inspiration if you've got like your christmas work parties um and also just pick up a few bits and just have a browse hello i'm back i did not vlog when i was in the traffic center because i literally was carrying so much stuff and i thought i'll just show you when i get back so behind me so I just got from Zara, oh, just uh, some bits that Liam wanted. The Primark stuff has been released. I'm gonna do a full try on haul, probably up before this video. So please go and watch it because I had to carry these bags. I literally always part the opposite end of Primark. So I end up carrying everything back. And I did a mini food shop because mum's coming tomorrow to babysit Ace for the night. So I bought her loads of stuff from Marks and Spencers. So. My arms were falling off, but hello Christmas party season with an oversized blazer and some sparkly boots. How gorgeous. Let's see what they look like with a flash on. Sorry. I'm sorry. Um, how much were these? £38. Not bad for a boot. Probably maybe a little bit expensive for Primark, but they're heavy. They feel nice. They got any zips? Yep, they've got zips the full way down the inside. Are they gonna be comfortable? I'm not sure because they are skinny, tall heels. They had some gorgeous Alexander Wang heels. They were 30% off. They were reduced from 500 to 300 and something. Gorgeous, but the heel was very big and I thought, am I gonna want to wear them? Um, maybe I need to think about it, but 
I spent £400 in Primark. £400. Um, so, yeah, pretty extreme. So, if you want to go and check that video out, it will hopefully be up. It, I'm sure it'll be up before this one. I might try and film it tomorrow before we go. Um, I got a filter by Molly May tan, the extra dark one. So, I'm going to put that on after football, which I'm going to now. Very busy day. It's currently half past five. I need to just put a tiny bit of makeup on. I've still got the treatment in my hair, but it just looks like I've slicked it back. So that's fine. My ears are probably going to be cold because I can't put a hat on with my hair slicked back. But, oh well. Um, I'll just show you one more thing. This is a blazer. Let's do the flash. We've just got to Liverpool. The hotel is actually so nice. We've just got in our room. It's very cute. It's very tall ceilings. Um, and we're starving, so I think we're gonna go and try and find some food and then I'm gonna come back and get ready because right now, I'm not looking great. I just had a shower earlier and just dried my hair and just left it. And I've just got my tracksuit on, so. Let's get some food and then get ready and then we can go out and see what Liam's got planned for us. We're gonna be late as usual, so this is very quickly my outfit. My dress is from Cuckoo and my little pretty little thing heels and my Chanel bag. But I'm not going to bring my camera because it doesn't fit in my bag and I don't want to bring it anyway and risk losing it. So I'm going to, let me just, thank you. What's up? Oh, my hair's going flat already. Um, I'm going to vlog everything on my phone. So if the quality is not that great, then it's because it's on my phone. But yeah, let's go. First stop, I need to be quick so I don't want to get copyrighted. We've come to Goldfang. Oh my god, we went here in um, Glasgow and it was the best thing ever, so we've come here before we go for food. Got some cocktails. I am very dressed up for Goldfang, but oh, I well, look cool now. And we're going for a fancy meal after, so I'll keep you updated. I've just done this one in two, and he can't, he can't get it through the eyes, doesn't it? <laughs> How many? <laughs> Five. <laughs> We finished. The scores were I got 55 and Liam got 49. That is close. I've never been that close before, have I? No. So I'm pretty impressed with myself. Got another cocktail. Actually, really nice. We've got all the rows in this, so nice. And we've got like about half an hour till we need to leave and go for food. Still don't know where I'm going for one, food. One caramel, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, one, one fizzy watermelon. <laughs> morning it is the next day now we literally had the best night ever last night it was so fun so we went to the junkyard golf club thing no golf fang i think it was golf fang it's basically it's just like a mini golf where it's all like dark and there's all like illuminous paint on the walls and stuff um and you get like cocktails and drinks and stuff and the drinks were actually so nice as well and then liam took me to this restaurant after it was called roske Roske, um, and it was the winner of MasterChef. He's opened his own restaurant, and it was honestly so nice. I had six courses, um, which he booked because years ago, God, before we moved to Scotland, oh God, I sweat moustache. Um, I took Liam to this like spa hotel for the night, and they were like a tasting menu there. And that's the first time we'd ever done it. And he, he remembered how much I loved it, so he said he tried to find one. And this were apparently meant to be the best one in Liverpool. So we went there. Recommend. Absolutely gorgeous. It was just a nice vibe, like there were nice music playing. I think it was the eighties or something. So we were just singing to that. The people there were so nice. Like the man was just funny. He were like telling us about everything. It was just. Very nice experience and I would recommend. Um, so, we're just gonna go and look around the shops today. Not for too long because we don't need anything, we're just gonna browse. Um, I don't think I'm gonna really put any makeup on, I think I might just put a bit of bronzer and brush my eyebrows up. Um, because I can't really be bothered. But we stayed at the Municipal Hotel. Don't know how you say that. Really nice. I love them. <laughs> With my 
I've put socks on as well because I don't want them to rub me for walking around. But right, I will see you when I get home. If I buy anything, I'll show you. Um, yeah, see you later. Good morning. I'm vlogging on my phone. I've got my camera and I've just come to my dad's house. I came last night. I've just got bread. Excuse my wild hair. Um, and I'm whispering because my brother's still asleep. But um, I left my hair to air dry last night, so it was crazy. So I've just put a little bit of curl through it, um, and I'm gonna put my hat on, so I didn't bother doing anything to the top. Um, but I've come home because we're going on our annual chats with Christmas market day, um, and I was good because I wanted to vlog it and bring my camera, but. I'll just show you on my phone anyway. First Christmas market of the year, I'm very excited. That means Christmas has officially begun. I literally want to put my tree up now, but right, I'm gonna go and put my coat on and then I'll show you. Around the Christmas markets, I'll probably just put a little clip in and if I buy anything, I'll show you at the end. Excuse this awful lighting. Um, I got back yesterday from the Christmas market. I think I'm gonna put my tree up. It's like five o'clock and I've just had a sudden urge to put my tree up. So I've just hoovered downstairs. My tree is in the, my car because my Christmas stuff rolled up in Anna's house when we moved. So I got that when I went to see Nana yesterday. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that. The tree is up, excuse all this. <laughs> this is just for when Liam goes away this weekend. I need to sort through it. Um, this is my little tree. My star's a bit wonky, but <laughs> it does the job. It's just got little gold baubles on. They're from loads of different places. I think mainly like next. I think I ordered them from there when I did them. So it's been the same since Glasgow really, but. And then like every year, I've got my little special one. So I said I started a tradition. Every time we move house, I want to get a new little like Christmas tree decoration so that when we're old and put a tree up, we can look back at all the places that we've lived. So I've got my little Scotland one when I were in Glasgow. Um, Mum got me these ones for Morecambe because we couldn't find any nice ones that just said Morecambe on. Um, so they come with this little note. The glass is from Morecambe Beach. So I've got these two for Morecambe and then she got me this one for Wigan as well. And then I just have my one for Ace. I'm gonna pop these on. And that is my little tree all done. Last year, I've got one with my initial on, one for Liam and one for Ace. And we just put all our presents in and put them under the tree. So I'm going to do that again this year. They're all just inside. Um, yeah, cute. So yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait. Oh my God, this lighting. I can't wait for all the Christmassy videos we've got to come. I'm very excited. And it is now officially Christmas. Now the tree is in the background. Oh.